Hey there, Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. What are the keys to successful list building? <laughs> That's like the twenty-four thousand dollar question, right? Maybe the maybe the twenty-four million dollar question. You know, there's there's so many so many ways to build your list that um, you know I could give you. I I've got a, a, a checklist for ninety-nine ways. If you want it, send me an email at info i n f o at complete marketing systems dot com. Put ninety-nine ways in the subject line. I'll send it to you. Um, but here's the thing, there, there are a lot of ways to build your list. And here's the question, and, and you're going to think this is silly when I ask this, but because it may seem obvious, and yet the things that we do don't always, don't always make this obvious. So let me ask the question, do you want to build your list fast, or do you want to build your list slow? Now, you're automatically going to say, well, of course I want to build my list fast, Diane, right? Is that the right answer? Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Maybe the better question isn't even about list building. Maybe the, the real question is, does it matter how big your list is? Because, you know, we used to always say, he who had the biggest list wins. Maybe, maybe not, right? I know people who have 100 or 200 people on a list and make six figures a year. I know people who have thousands of people on their list, tens of thousands of people on their list, and they're not making six figures a year. Okay, how can that be? Well, this is partially about what do you do with your list, right? It's partially about converting the people who are coming to clients, right? Prospects and suspects, as I call them, into clients, which means they bought something, they, they paid for something. So how do you convert them and do you convert them and are you good at converting them? And then are you are you good once you convert them and they buy something, are you good at maintaining them? Are you good at keeping them on your list? Are you good at keep continuing to nurture them and have them buy more things from you and to go through this arbitrary thing we call a funnel, right? Where we bring in a lot of people at the top and very few at the bottom, right? Does does any of that even work anymore? Is the question, right? So how do you build your list? How do you do it in a way that makes you money? Because that's the key, right? The key is how do you bring people into your system, convert them to a paying client, nurture them, take really good care of them so they stay with you and continue to buy from you, continue to come back and refer, right? How do you do that? Whether it's with a hundred people, with a thousand people or with 10,000 people, because Times have changed in our business and in all businesses. And just because people walk in the door doesn't mean they're going to buy from you. Let me say that again. Just because people walk in the door, right, or come to your business, whether you have a brick and mortar or an online business or whatever, doesn't mean they're going to buy from you. Look, I watch it all the time. Go to a, go, <laughs> ready for this? Go to a real bookstore, right? Go to a barn, find a, find a bookstore, find a Barnes and Noble or a local bookstore in your area. Walk in and see what happens. How many people walk out the door and don't buy anything? How many people walk out without a book in their hand? Or whatever the other things are, right? The, the peripheral items. So it's not always about getting people to walk in or to come. It's about getting them to convert to a, being a buyer. So again, do you want to build your list fast or do you want to build your list slow? And let me give you an example, right? So you can go out, you can you can go out and find people who will um, who will promise you ten thousand new people on your list in the next thirty days. Ten thousand likes. Don't even get me started with this, right? On social media, it means nothing. Um, but you know, we'll add ten thousand people to your list. Great. If, if you want to hire somebody to do that, here's the question I want you to ask them. How many of those 10,000 people will be qualified? How many of those 10,000 people will convert to a sale? And the, the thing they'll tell you is, well, we don't know. We don't, con you know, we don't know. We're just going to drive traffic. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. Drive traffic all you want. If you can't convert them, if the traffic isn't targeted, if the traffic isn't predisposed to do business with you, right? If you're driving... You know, if you're a plumber and they're driving people who are looking for dog groomers to your site, you can get all the traffic you want. 
But if it's not qualified, it's not people who are looking for a plumber, it doesn't do you any good. Or the opposite, I'm looking for a dog groomer and you send me to a plumber, right? It's, I'm not going to do business with you because I'm looking for a dog groomer. Now, I know I'm giving you like these wild examples, but take it in because it's important. So here's the thing. You can find somebody to drive traffic to your site and promise you 10,000 new people a month and none of them convert to a sale. What good does that do you? But it built your list. So list building is a little bit of a misnomer. Here's the other, here's the other thing that could happen. You could go speak at an event. Forget about whether it's a paid gig or not. It doesn't matter, right? You could go, to a, go speak. Spend 90 minutes on the platform speaking and have people buy from you right then and there or within seven days. So, but you, you put five people on your list as opposed to 10,000, but you made money from the five and none from the 10,000. So my point is fast or slow, right? It's, it's not what it seems like the, the most obvious answer many times isn't. So this is about, I want you to think, right? I want you to think about the things that, that I'm asking you because I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is show you that it's not always the most obvious answer and it's not always the answer that has the most sizzle and the most sex appeal and that, that seems the most fun, right? It's not always that because this is a long-term gig. It's not a, it's not a short-term thing. It's about what are your business goals, how do, what do you want, and is it about having the biggest list or is it about making the most money that you can make? Is it about converting the right people, your ideal client, not just anybody, but your ideal targeted market? That's what it's about for me, right? And again, there are a lot of ways to do this. Um, you know, networking is, is a way that people seem to revert to, especially early on in their business because they don't think they have any money. Um, when in fact, it, not only is networking tend to be slow, it doesn't have to be, but it tends to be. But think about it, you know, how many people do you convert? If you go to network, even as once a week or once a month, right? You're talking about four or five hours by the time you get ready and you go and you travel where you're going and traffic, or even if you live somewhere where there's not a lot of traffic, you spend a couple hours at the thing, then you drive back, you've got four hours minimum invested of your time in that. And how, how many people convert? So whatever you're doing, I want you to think about it from the perspective of how many, how many people have I converted? If I'm spending this much investing, this much money and time, then it has to convert. And that's the key. It's not about having the biggest list, right? And we talked about a few ways, right? We talked about hiring somebody to drive traffic. You can build your list with Facebook ads. You can build your list organically on social media platforms. Um, you can network. You can buy lists and go out and do direct mail, um, which is a great way, by the way, to get really targeted, highly converted uh, leads who will convert. Um, you could do list swaps with people. You can do joint ventures, uh, affiliate marketing. There's seven or eight ways that I've, I've just off the top sort of talked about uh, of ways to, and there are a ton more, right? Uh, a ton more. Writing a book is a, is a, can be a great way to build your list. Again, it's the marketing that you do behind the things that you're doing that's going to make this either work or not work. If you want more information on list building, much more specific stuff that's, that's specific to your business and ideas about how you can not necessarily grow the biggest list but get the most targeted list that will convert to sales, um, I would like to invite you to my upcoming event, November 7th and 8th. It's called Plan, Grow, and Succeed. If you go to PlanGrowAndSucceed.com, all the details are there. And um, it doesn't even talk about this piece, but uh, the majority of what we're going to talk about, other than whatever it is that you want, because that's how I run my events, you'll see it there, it's a little different, is going to be about list building. We're going to talk about how do you build a list, how do you go out and build this list so that you get people that will convert to dollars, that will convert to sales, that will convert to long time dedicated clients who love you, who continue to invest and spend and refer. That's what, and for me, that's what I want. And I think that's the best way to build your business. Not by having somebody give you 
10,000 people on your list, none of which who have any interest in doing what it is that you do, okay? So check it out. Again, go to plangrowandsucceed.com. If you have questions, uh, let me know. Again, the information about all this list building stuff isn't on there. It's not on there because it's, uh, it, it's something that I've decided I'm going to do after the page was written. I'm going to go in and add some things to it. But um, check it out. I would love to have you there. If, if building your list and making more money and converting more leads is something that you're interested in, then this is the place to be, November 7th and 8th, plangrowandsucceed.com. I'm Diane Conklin. We'll see you next time. Make it a great day.